I'm Glenn McGinnis, and welcome to On the Bright Side. Is your idea of physical fitness walking to your parking space? Well, if it is, you're not alone. According to the Public Health Agency of Canada, two-thirds of Canadians 20 and older are not physically active enough to meet their guidelines, and physical inactivity has become a major health issue. This has led a group of MPs to form an all-party fitness initiative in the hopes that while getting in shape themselves, they can encourage their constituents to remain active as well. Most of their day is spent sitting down, whether it's in their offices, in the House, in committees, or even on airplanes. And those parliamentary galas can serve some pretty rich food. And if they're late, or the weather's bad, or just because they want to, MPs can ride a little green bus from their offices all the way up to the House of Commons. Mr. Le President, it gives me great pleasure to present a gift from all four corners of this House to everyone in this chamber. Today we launch a new ambitious program which we hope will make each MP healthier and in the process make us better role models as parliamentarians. The program relies on two nationally renowned coaches who have volunteered to get MPs and senators walking, running, swimming or cycling. With the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Games coming up, one member of Parliament took it upon himself to change this inactive lifestyle by challenging his fellow MPs to get active. When I arrived in Parliament, uh, I looked around and saw how unhealthy the lifestyle is of a parliamentarian. We're sitting in committee so much of the time on airplanes, especially if you're from the West Coast. Uh, there's so much activity, you don't get a chance to take care of yourself. And so it occurred to me that we needed to do something about that. And then I had great inspiration uh, on a... Uh, uh, epic flight. I sat next to the coach of the Olympic swim team, who's Pierre Lafontaine, and Pierre was very keen to do something with this idea. And then we had Phil Marsh, who's a national running coach, who, with uh, Minister Stock Day's encouragement, was already running with parliamentarians. So we put them together, we talked about it, and then we came up with an interparliamentary initiative, a letter signed by members of the four parties that would encourage all parliamentarians to get involved. We did something a little bit uh, out of the box, you might say. Each parliamentarian received a red box. Inside the red box was a map of Parliament Hill showing the distances between buildings. So if you wanted to walk or run instead of take the buses, what you could do in terms of your own health and fitness. Inside the box there were some swim goggles and there was a letter signed by an MP from the Bloc, uh, from the Liberal Party and from the NDP as well as myself just inviting everybody to be involved and uh, we enclosed one sock and we said come out to one of these free sessions with a national coach and we will sock it to you and you'll get your second sock. People enjoyed it and they recognized it was offered as truly a gift, a gift of health and fitness and something that would perhaps enable them to be better parliamentarians. John and I were chatting and he seemed very passionate about fitness and about wellness and you know he just seemed to have that that vitality that uh, a lot of the runners have and he had this big kind of vision of getting all the parties together and so for me it was kind of okay you know what you know for for my part you know i i, I love running i love walking and, and being active so you know, I'll volunteer and see what we can kind of pull from this. And uh, it's kind of grown exponentially. And I think with the celebration with the Olympics being in Vancouver and, and kind of a Canadian celebration of sport and, and, and fitness and health, um, I think it's bridged really well. Well, we started a small group just running um, about a year ago. And uh, John was added to it by including uh, training and people who want to run, bike, or swim. And it's really covered not just a lot of sports, but it's brought in a lot of MPs from all parties. There's a lot of hot air in that building all day long, so it's good to get out and do something like this to clear your head. It's a terrific initiative. Uh, we have Olympic swim coach, uh, we have a running coach who's just top notch. And it brings, you know, the hill will work better when you bring people together. Hey, 
They called it the 2010 challenge, and as the spokesperson for the Liberal Party on the Olympics and amateur sport, I thought, they're speaking to me. I don't normally run, uh, but the Olympics and amateur sport are all about participating. They're about, uh, well, ordinary people like myself and young people getting into uh, being fit and just all of the, the health benefits of that. So I uh, thought I'd come and try running today. You know, I think people like to know that members of parliament actually do work together on things. On, on the really important issues, we actually do, we, we can actually pull together. And uh, staying healthy and sending out a, a good message of uh, working together, I think it's something people uh, don't mind hearing about. So what is the importance of all parties taking part in this initiative? I think when people get to know each other on an individual basis, I think it makes our committee work work more smoothly. It brings people together. Well, it's truly something that has no partisan boundaries and should not have partisan boundaries. Fitness and health is something that is of concern to all Canadians. And for me personally, I came to Parliament thinking if I could make one small difference in the decorum of the House, that would be a contribution that my constituents and other Canadians would appreciate. I think it's a great initiative because we need to lead by example. And plus, if our constituency is uh, doing physical exercise, be anything from walking, swimming, cycling, running, playing various sports, even lawn bowling for senior associates, anything to keep you physically active. never too old to start a, an exercise program and uh, pick something that you enjoy and try a bunch of things and uh, you'll find something you enjoy. How did Mr. Weston and the rest of the MPs measure up? Oh, they're great. You know, it's, it's, again, you know, there's one person who's going to win an Olympic gold medal in the marathon, so I think everybody else has to measure themselves against their own goals and what they decide they want to do. If they want to be a 5K runner or a marathoner, then be the best that you can be. If you can get two days a week in, then be the best two-a-day athlete that you can. It seemed to me that we should be uh, leveraging the Olympics and the Paralympics and uh, we're trying to make sure that all Canadians understand there are legacies that will come from the games beyond the facilities. We should be looking at ourselves as the healthiest, the fittest country in the world.